So I've been using the Magic Keyboard for about six months or so now, and I wanted to give my honest opinion on using it and if I think it's worth the money. Tony here, we talk art and design tech, consider subscribing. The Magic Keyboard is a charging stand, protective case, and a keyboard with a touchpad. It protects your iPad, but leaves your Apple Pencil to fend for itself, so be careful not to karate chop it off. The 2021 model of the Magic Keyboard is compatible with the 2018, 2020, and the 2021 iPad Pro. The Magic Keyboard is made of a matte polyurethane material, just like Apple's Smart Keyboard Folio. The Magic Keyboard starts at $299 for the 11 inch model and $349 for the 12.9 inch model. The keyboard case has magnets on the back of it so you can very easily connect your iPad to it without having to worry about it sliding off. The case, it adds this additional USB-C connector at the bottom of the case, allowing you to charge it very easily without taking up your main USB-C port on the side of your iPad. This is great if you do design work on your iPad or creative work, you can very easily use the USB-C on the side of your iPad to take that work to an SSD or an external storage device without losing the opportunity to charge your device at the same time. The touchpad, it has the same gesture controls as the Mac computer. So if you're a Mac user, you'll feel very comfortable using this. I personally don't use the gestures at all. And honestly, I've always really hated touch screens, but with the iPad, I'm touching the screen like crazy. And I find it much easier to accomplish whatever it is that I'm working with by touching the screen. But you do have that option with the touchpad. The frustrating thing about the Magic Keyboard case is that it really does not offer a great deal of protection on the outer edges of the iPad Pro. In fact, they are completely exposed, just like the Apple Pencil. Typically when I use the Magic Keyboard, I have it on a desk or a table of some sort in front of me. But if you try to use it as a standard laptop on your lap, I find it topples over quite a bit. The weight of the iPad versus the weight of the bottom of the keyboard section of the case is pretty apparent. And it doesn't take much effort to tip over the Magic Keyboard when using it on your lap. This is not a factor on a flat surface though. When I first ordered the Magic Keyboard, one of my main concerns was if I would like how the keys felt. But to my surprise, the keys feel very natural. The keys have a glossy sheen and a matte feel to the touch. Sometimes my fingers can collect a lot of oil if I grab a snack while working and touch my face or my hair, leaving more plastic filling keyboards greasy and slippery after long-term use. But this Magic Keyboard is very comfortable to use for long sessions and snack breaks. The keyboard case is fairly easy to keep clean. I use a brush that I used to use for traditional work, but since most of my work is digital, I use it to brush my Magic Keyboard. I wouldn't recommend using a brush that you use for a pet or your hair, but if you have a brush laying around or small cloth, it should get the job done. Question of the day, is the Magic Keyboard worth it for you? Leave it below in the comments. I've seen artists actually draw while using the Magic Keyboard, but for my workflow, I prefer taking it to my Sketchboard Pro, which I showed you guys in a recent video. Click the link above to see the full video after watching this video. There are a lot of alternative keyboard cases for the iPad that have additional connectors like the Bridge and the Logic Tech. It would have been interesting to see Apple provide alternatives to this case since they promote professional workflows. And it's pretty common, especially if you're looking at the iPad as a computer, as it's so commonly promoted as it's a laptop it would be great to see some of those ports like SD card, USB-A, or a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack added. The Magic Keyboard is really made to be a quick way to connect and type with your iPad. That is its main use, and I can say from using it for productivity tasks, writing emails, 
using Google Docs to write documents, Google Sheets, managing social media accounts for clients, even taking notes in an education environment, it really makes a compelling case for a creative professional, especially if the iPad is your main device for creative work on the go. Because of the mobility that the iPad provides so easily, I'm really surprised that Apple didn't take into account how easily the Apple Pencil can be knocked off of the iPad. I can only assume they're thinking most users are not using the Apple Pencil, so not even something to integrate into their design of the keyboard case, but it would have been nice if they would have considered it. I actually got a third party shell that goes over the iPad to hold my Apple Pencil for times that I need to take my iPad out of the house for a meeting or work remote at a cafe just to change up the work environment. There have been many times when I'm using the Magic Keyboard that I literally forgot it's a tablet, no joke. If you have one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And being able to change your tablet device into something that feels close to a laptop that also protects it for the most part has been a productivity hack. Watch this video next to see me unbox my favorite accessory for the iPad Pro for artists.